Welcome to St. Mary's Church here in Bunclody. I'm joined by fellow parishioner here, River Donoghue. And this is a slightly different from the usual morning prayer in that we are taking from the gospel uh, Christ's command that we love one another as he loves us, that we would love um, who is our neighbour, of course. That is the perennial question when uh, Jesus says, love your neighbour as yourself. And so we will start, um, uh, we'll have a, a, a couple of pieces of music and a couple of prayers, uh, our gospel reading. Um, but in response to the gospel, we're just looking and seeing what in our own parish is reflecting that love of, of Christ in the world. And one definite example is the work of the community workshop for County Wexford that meets here in the Sunday School Hall in St. Mary, St. Mary's during the week. Um, so I caught up with Blahin O'Neill, who's the support care worker with uh, the, one of the team, uh, with the, the CWCW, as they like to call themselves. Um, and Blahin told me just a little bit about how they're getting on here in Bunclody and what they're doing. So before anything else, we just listen to Blahin. But here we are with Blahin at St Mary's Church here uh, beside the Sunday School Hall and there's great activities going on during the week in the Sunday School Hall where the Community Workshop of County Wexford um, runs a number of activities and has uh, a number of people coming in and Blahin here who's coordinating all the activities just to tell us a little bit Blahin would you mind um, what the Community Workshop uh, activities are mm -hmm. and where do people come from to join in? Okay, I suppose we're here since last November and um, we've settled in really, really well. We have a group of 15 individuals. We have four staff and um, we have individuals coming from as far out as Coolboy. Right. Coolboy, Askamore, um, Kilrush, Kildavan, um, Ballycarney right. and some other locals. Um, and I suppose uh, the, made, the biggest thing here in the community workshop would be community inclusion, I suppose, and obviously taking part in their own community, which is the Bunclody area. So since we've arrived, we have uh, recently joined Tidy Towns. Brilliant. We have a group in doing social farming project out in just past Laham and Gilbert's farm. Um, another social farm has come on board um, near Mount Leinster. They'll be taking part in that. We also have a couple of people on work experience who will progress, hopefully, to a part-time job. Great. Um, we have a, a lady down in the charity shop here and we have a chap up in Glambia. Um, so yeah, and other aside all the, the different um, community involvement that we do, we also travel to Enniscorthy. We use the swimming pool in Enniscorthy. Um, we take part in choir on Zoom. We have a choir group from which originated from Community Workshop. Um, we also take part in soccer activities that would happen in the Astroactive um, and everybody's involved. Um, right. Obviously not all activities suit everybody, but mm. any, any, anything that anybody wants to do or take part in, we facilitate as best we can. Brilliant. Yeah. Is there anything that anybody looking at this in the area might be able to contribute or might think about? I'm thinking about, you know, you have somebody there you mentioned in Glambia. Yep. There might be other people involved or associated with retail that might Mm -hmm. have ideas. Uh. I suppose we have a couple of uh, men who are quite interested in gardening um, and who would have done different horticultural courses um, so would have great interest in that maybe if something like that came on board. Obviously we joined the Tidy Towns um, and we've already uh, worked with uh, Neil O'Murray. We've planted a couple of trees in the square down there. Oh right, yeah. Um, and then we'll do our litter picking as well. That would be our contribution. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, the gardening would be a huge well, I know you, you've really added to this local, the grounds of the church here now because you've got bulbs planted. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of bulbs and a couple of pots. Yeah, and the lovely pots are up there as well. Yeah, so really yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, Look, yeah. maybe people might come back after maybe. this and, and suggest things. All is welcome to call in, cup of yeah. tea, chat, say hello. A couple of neighbours have, have made it their business to call in, which is great. Yeah. Um, and sure, everybody's welcome in. Like, you're very you good. know, we're not right. we're not strangers or we don't bite. No, you're great. You know, <laughs> no, it's really a blessing that you're here. Yeah, and yeah. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a million. Thanks Blahine. very much. Not at okay. all. Thank you. But wasn't that wonderful to hear Blahin talking about the work of the community workshop here in County Wexford 
here at St. Mary's here in Buncloudy. And from now we go to the Book of Common Prayer, page 162, which is titled The Late Evening Office. But really it is a service that can be adapted for any time of the day. Uh, so we will follow the, through on page 162 and rather than having a sermon or a meditation, um, I'll have a short conversation with River um, about uh, the Gospel and how working that Gospel out uh, in different experiences uh, can be very interesting and very beneficial. Um, and so um, we will also be doing a little singing, uh, we'll have a hymn, um, hymn 515 and, um, uh, and we also s sing part of the psalm as well. So the Lord be with you. And also with you. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from all sin, and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and, and strong, strong holy, holy and immortal, immortal have, have mercy, mercy on us. So the psalm that is given in this service is Psalm 134. So I'm going to sing the first two verses and River will say the third and we join together for glory to the Father. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. As, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Now I'd like to ask River to read for us the Gospel for this, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Hear the Gospel of our Saviour Christ according to St. John, chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During supper, when Judas had gone out, Jesus, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will, glor and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only for a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I'll just ask you, River, to move in a little bit there because I uh, I just think the the microphone gets will, will pick it up <laughs> pick up the sound uh, yeah. a little better when we're having a chat. Um, so as we heard there in the gospel, um, as we love one another, that shows the world that we are disciples of Jesus Christ. And of course, it can be uh, interpreted in a very narrow way that we just love our family members or just love the people we hang around with or. Just love the people who come to the same church but Christ in many parts of the Bible in the New Testament has told us that as with the Good Samaritan the window that's beautifully in a stained glass um, uh, at the back of the of the church there the rose window the story of the Good Samaritan is again the message of Jesus saying that everybody is our neighbor um, and so that's why I'm interested when I got talking to River about uh, where he was in England and the parish that you were in. Um, in Hackney, I think you said. Yeah. Isn't that right, River? Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe you could just tell us a little bit about how that gospel uh, was worked out, you might say, or, or how, how the parish there uh, translated that into action. Yeah, well, I mean, I suppose, um, <laughs> I, I think we, we, we kind of reached a point where, you know, we, we, we wanted to do something kind of practical. You know, we, we were having, you know, prayer services and Bible study groups and all that. And those things are really important. But we kind of felt that we wanted to do something uh, quite practical um, in terms of, of mission that involved actually reaching out uh, to those that were on the margins of society. Um, one of the biggest problems we had in East London was homelessness. So we got involved in uh, a project called the Hackney Winter Night Shelter, which was uh, a, a roving shelter that moved from different churches every night or church halls. Um, and it, it operated during the coldest winter months. Um, and so we gave people uh, a bed for the night. We gave them a, a, a nutritious three course meal. Um, and I think most more importantly, um, we befriended people. That was a huge part of what we did. So we'd actually sit down. It was all volunteers. Um, and so we'd actually sit down and eat with our guests. Um, we never referred to them as service users. Or they, were, they were our guests and our friends. Um, and our neighbours, you know. So um, it, it, it was a ray, I suppose, of putting putting the putting the gospel into in, in, into action. Marvelous. Um, I, I certainly felt it, it, it kind of, you know, I suppose educated me and many of us about just the whole idea of neighbour. Mm -hmm. So that you you know, as you said, like you know, sometimes we think the neighbour is somebody who you live next door to or in the same street or that you go to the to the, to the same to the same church. But actually, uh, your neighbour is everybody, mm. you know, and can be everybody and anybody. And and actually, sometimes people who you might not particularly like or get on with. Um, I, I, for me, that's the, the the real message of of, of that gospel reading. Because Jesus says, you know, love your enemies and pray for those yeah. who hate you. That's yeah, so, and no I, 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 I think you know if we're actually listening properly to Jesus we, we don't get to choose mm. who our our, our our neighbor is and I think you know we live in a world where we kind of you know we we, we, we tend to kind of um, make judgments about people we kind of you know we, we put people into boxes we pigeonhole people yeah it's a um, very human thing to, yeah, yeah very very thing natural to do. thing to do yeah, um, yeah. and I think you know one of the great things about the gospel is that it's it's countercultural yeah we're challenged to actually look at things in in a, in a new way and a radical so i i think the gospel is actually very radical it is yeah you know? well through the eyes of jesus i suppose it's, yeah. we're invited to look at things in a christ-like way yeah i suppose and so here we are in bunglody it's wonderful that, that the sunday school hall um is is in great use for uh people who appreciate uh, what the community workshop um is doing as we heard earlier and I suppose here as well, there are little things that we can do in Buntlody. I mean, opening the church on a Saturday, you know, you had a lady in from Brazil earlier on, you were telling me today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah and I, I think that's hugely important. I think, um, I think it's important that the church is actually physically open, mm. that the door is open, because when you see an open door, I mean, it, it suggests invitation. Mm. Come in, mm. you know. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, it's it's about hospitality, mm. um, and I I think um, it's really important in the church. Uh, you know, some people think you know we have to do kind of really big projects, and we don't. You know, mm. um, those things are fine, but um, I, I think it's really important in terms of you know loving your neighbour that uh, we have a culture in churches which is inclusive, which is welcoming, where um, people feel respected and mm. valued, and, and there's, there's friendliness and hospitality. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course accessibility. Mm. We can get in, but you know, the, 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 anybody who's on, in a wheelchair or whatever, um, um, we, we, we don't need to use the steps. That's, that's another important point to make. 
mm. um, and uh, that, that's something that um, we're, we're working at all the time to make the, the church more accessible because this building um, is, is a beautiful church and people who come in really love the idea that, that, it, that it is open so I think we can build on that can't we yeah mm. yeah we have, and I, I yeah. think you know you know in Ireland I think we you know you know years ago we were used to having you know a steady congregation you know most people particularly in areas like this were probably from Ireland mm. we're now living in a multicultural multi-ethnic society mm. so it's not uncommon for people just to be you know, as happened uh, mm. earlier on, you mentioned it, uh, somebody from Brazil mm. just looking for a church to to, to worship in, you know, um, mm. uh, and uh, that's a wonderful opportunity mm. for, for, for us to mm. actually say to somebody, you're welcome yeah. and you're welcome to be part of our, our family because mm. the church really is about, it is is about family. family. It, you're absolutely mm. right. That's a great point to, to, to finish our, our conversation, I think. Um, and thank you, River, for, for all that. Um, what we're going to do now, it does say um, there is there is a Nunc Dimittis Sam because of the late evening office. But given that this is um, a, a service that is a morning service or at any time of the day, we're going to turn to page 104 at morning prayer, the Jubilate based on Psalm 100. And so we will... We'll read the Jubilate by alternate verses. O oh, shout to the Lord in triumph all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his face with songs of joy. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Come into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his holy name for the lord is good his loving mercy is forever his faithfulness throughout all generations glory, glory to, to the, the father and to, and to the son and, and to the holy spirit, spirit as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now and, and shall be forever, forever. Amen. amen and so we come to um uh, our hymn Hymn 515. It's quite short, um, but what, what I'm, I'm going to do is probably we'll, we'll sing it. We'll sing it twice around and um, and see how that goes. A new command. I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you that you love one another as I have loved you by this shall all know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another by this shall all know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another a new commandment i give unto you that you love one another as i have loved you that you love one another as i have loved you by this shall all know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another by this shall all know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another so we come to our prayers Page 163, we'll use the form of prayers provided. And so let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people that they may live in love, 
and truth. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the Church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let, Let us, us pray us for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, for the sorrowful and the dying. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into the eternal rest. Blessed, Blessed are, are the dead. dead. Who die, die in, in the, the Lord. Lord. So as we just keep silence for a moment for our own prayers. We just give you thanks Lord. For all your blessings of this day. And thanks Lord for this Bunclody Union of Parishes for the, the churches of Bunclody and Kildavan, of Connegal in Kilrush, and how the communities in each place witness to your love in the world. Especially thinking here of the community workshop in County Wexford, based here in the hub in Bunclody, and just how their involvement with this community helps to show your love in the world. Remember all who are not well, who cannot get out to church, all who are in hospital or at home or in nursing homes. Lord, those of us who with you love and care for each one of them, ask that you would lay your healing hand upon them. Bless those who are caring for them. Give them the fullness of your life and your love, your health and your healing. We pray for all those who are grieving, all those bereaved, thinking especially of those in Ukraine at this time and in all war-torn areas. We ask your blessing on those who have come to our country seeking safety and refuge. And Lord, we also remember our own dearly departed, especially those whose resting place is around this Church of St. Mary's, where we are at this time. So Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. And on this the fifth Sunday of Easter, our collect on page 276. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Amen. So let us join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, we forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine Lord is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we say on page 164, the common collect. Lord, Lord Almighty, come and, and scatter, scatter the darkness of our hearts, 
by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to, to God. God. And together let us bless one another. May the, the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. So let us go in the peace of the risen Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.